Hey there, in this video we're going to make anaglyphic text, okay, basically it's that kind of cyan -y red color overlapping to interact to kind of look 3D retro, okay, anaglyphic is a word that I'm probably murdering, uh, but you get the idea, let's go off and make this type in Illustrator. Alright, first up, and you don't have to do this, open up anaglyphic AI, okay, from the exercise files, and the only thing I've done is I've made a kind of a slightly, mm, slightly off-white background because I think it looks better on it. Anyway, uh, grab the type tool and type in some type. I'm going to type, we're doing some work for that bicycle brand that we were doing work for before called Raw Cycles or Raw Bikes, and I'm going to make the font size really big, and it's easier just to grab the black arrow and hold shift, okay, and grab one of the corners. And um, all right, and pick a font size, any uh, font type, okay, anything you like. I'm going to use Abril. I like Abril. It is from, you can see it there, Fat Face. That is from uh, Typekit, which if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can go to typekit.com and download free. And um, see, so we'll start with this guy. I'm going to do some big letters to get started with. And I'll have kind of two versions, right? And um, so this one here, I'm going to break apart into separate letters. Okay, so I'm going to go to object. Only because I want, you saw it at the beginning, I want to overlap it and do stuff. They could be separate letters, but I'm lazy. So I just want to go to type and go to convert uh, to outlines. I know the shortcut, command shift O. What the hang is it for uh, the long version? There it is, create outlines. Command Shift O. So if you're on a PC, it's Control Shift O. I'm going to right click them and ungroup them. So now they're all kind of just separate. Now I want to find those colors. Now basically you can get away with just guessing. Okay, whatever looks good. Um, uh, a nice easy way to kind of give the get something that's quite close is go to Window. Remember color themes from earlier? Okay, so color themes if I can find them. Um, uh, it starts off at Create. Okay, switch to Explore and type in anaglyphic. And if you're like me. I had to write it down and uh, like you have to kind of Google th 3D glasses from the 80s and then you eventually find the word anaglyphic like I never remember how to spell it or even the word itself in all honesty. So uh, so what we're going to do is click on this, I'm going to pick maybe the red, you don't have to pick all of them like oh, maybe I will pick that color, okay and then oh sorry you grab that one. And that one, I'll pick that color. Cool, so uh, yeah, I've stolen from the color themes tool. Now we kind of need to do some interactions because they look okay like this, um, but it looks better with some color blending. Okay, so we've done blending loads in this course, but it's super useful and versatile. So what we're gonna do is have them all selected and you might have to do them each individually, okay, to get the kind of perfect color, but you probably find switch them to multiply will give you that kind of like overlap effect. And what I might do is just really overlap them, okay? It's more of a like a super graphic kind of tidally thing than it is meant to be like perfect. Now this guy here is too dominating, he's too dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick just a lighter color for him. Just gonna, uh, yep, hue saturation. I'm gonna go to brightness and maybe set desaturated as well. Just because, yeah, I feel like he's dominating too much of those color spaces. So yeah, that's gonna be my anaglyphic lettering. Okay, and I don't like him still. I might just pick uh, black and white and go to no saturation, crank it up until I'm happy with him. I wanted to show stuff around. Now I'm just messing. Carry on with the next one, Dan. Okay. All right. Count out myself. Oh man, I really gotta change him too. Now it's looking kind of legible, but not legible enough. Creative. All right, um, the other one is this guy here. I'm going to leave a copy up there. Okay. Um, I don't have to break this one apart, um, but I might just track it in a little bit. Um, maybe our shortcuts from before. It's Alt and the left arrow, or Option and the left arrow, just to track it in a little bit, to tighten it up. Cool. So I just want to steal the red color. Now, if I use the eyedropper tool here, we're going to, have to run into problems, first of all, because it won't copy you see it says it's filled with red but it's actually still black if I grab the type tool and highlight it you see it's black but because there's two things kind of fighting it out it ends up causing problems so I'm going to undo before that thing was red and what we'll do is we'll select on this and do it the official way so click on the fill of this guy and say swatches add to swatches there he is and same with this blue one here um, grab the blue one and I'm going to say you my friend and properties fill 
you add to the library as well. Click OK. We'll do it the official way. So we need two versions of this. One is going to be filled with red. This one is going to be filled with blue. Don't use Photoshop at all. Just causes problems. Um, I'm going to have it so they're just kind of over offset just a little bit. You can obviously mess around with this later. And the top one, or both of them, doesn't make a difference. Uh, if you go to Opacity, Normal, and go to Multiply, they give you that kind of cool, I don't know, I feel like Michael J. Fox would have approved. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of anaglyphic effect. You can do it with anything, obviously. Like, it's pretty easy. Just kind of make sure the right colors, make sure the blending mode is set to multiply, and then just kind of offset them left and right. You can decide on how much you want this to be or how little you want it to be. It doesn't have to be on an off-white background. It doesn't have to be these two colors. Okay, I've seen it done with lots of different colors. Yeah, but the technique is exactly the same. All right, friends, go forth and make cool anaglyphic. I've said it like a million times, so hopefully drive it in there, mainly for me. So when somebody asks me what it is, I remember the term finally. I won't. I'll Google it. Regardless, next video.